Hi, my name is Elise McDonough, and I'm the author of a new book called Sustainable Food, How to Buy Right and Spend Less. I met the Union Square Farmers Market in New York City on a Saturday morning, and as you can see, I'm not the only one here looking for fresh, local, seasonal food. Later today, I'm going to a friend's garden party, so I thought I'd put together a simple, delicious dish to share. Rather than deciding what to make in advance, I'm going to take a quick tour of the market to see what's available and at what price. Whether I'm shopping at the farmer's market, the supermarket, or even online, I'm always looking for food that's whole, seasonal, organic, local, and fresh. Whole foods exist as close to their natural state as possible and represent the simplest, most nutritious, and most sustainable form of human sustenance. Seasonal foods arrive in abundance at a particular time of year, such as apples in the autumn, squash in the winter, asparagus in the spring, and watermelons in the summer. Seasonal eaters save money and get the freshest food. Organic foods, including fruits, vegetables, grains, meat, milk, and cheeses, have been produced without the use of chemical pesticides or synthetic fertilizers. Local food usually means it was grown, gathered, hunted, or raised within a 100-mile radius of where you live. Shopping at the farmer's market ensures your food was produced locally, saving on fossil fuels and supporting the local economy. Looks like we got everything we need without breaking the bank. Now let's head uptown and make some sustainable food. We got all our ingredients from the farmer's market. And I did some prep work in my kitchen and now I've brought everything up to the roof where I'm going to show you how to make panzanella, an Italian bread salad. Let's start by taking a look at our ingredients. First, we have some rustic French bread that I've cut up into cubes. Panzania is a great way to use up your day-old bread because when you're cooking sustainably, you don't want anything to go to waste. We also have some beautiful beefsteak tomatoes from the Hudson River Valley. Because these are in season right now, they're only $2.50 a pound. We've also got some diced red onion, mozzarella from Tanja's Farm Dairy, and some store-bought roasted red peppers. The last thing the recipe calls for is basil and thyme, which we're gonna gather from my rooftop garden. There's no substitute for fresh herbs. They add so much flavor and sparkle to any meal. Anyone with a sunny windowsill or a small amount of outdoor space can grow plenty of fresh herbs for themselves. Now that we've got all of our ingredients together, let's mix up our rooftop panzanella. First, you take five cups of cubed bread, add three chopped tomatoes, followed by your red onions, and a quarter cup of vegetable broth. Stir all these ingredients together to combine. Next, add your mozzarella and your roasted red peppers. Our final ingredient is two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Stir to combine and then refrigerate your panzanella for an hour to let the flavors mingle. When you're ready to serve, add your fresh basil and thyme. I really enjoyed making this local rooftop meal with you. Check out my new book, Sustainable Food, for more tips on how to buy right and spend less.